can I fit them all in the frame? Let's see. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty big nail polish haul as you can see. I am so excited to share that even though you see this much polish, different brands, all sorts of finishes, uh, I only paid $6 for these polishes. And the best part is that one of these polishes is a lemming of mine that I kind of had given up on. I didn't think I was ever going to find it. And I found it at Goodwill. I have visited around five um, Goodwills around my area. And only one of them has had nail polish for sale. Obviously, all of these have been gently used. None of them were brand new, which, I mean, it's okay for me. Uh, as you know, most of my polish collection comes from these stash sales, so I don't mind that they've been gently used. I was so thrilled when I found these polishes near the checkout line, and they were all on Ziploc bags. Um, each Ziploc bag had like eight polishes, and they retail for like $2.99 per bag. I recommend you check out your local Goodwill store to see if they have nail polish there. Out of all of these polishes, I've only only worn one and it's this polish from Donna Michelle a brand that I've never heard of before but I actually wore this as a full mani already and I talked more in detail about it on my I believe January manis video I'm just gonna skip this polish I'm not gonna swatch it for you but all of the other ones I have a swatch wheel here also one of the products that was in the Ziploc bag was actually a uh, nail experts treatment from avon i haven't used it yet i don't know what this is about um never heard of this product before so i still have to try it so i'm gonna make sure i get these two products out of my stash before we begin the swatching and i only have one swatch wheel so hopefully all of them fit here uh whatever it doesn't obviously i'm just not gonna swatch for you guys uh but yeah let's go ahead and start and see what I got. All right, so first up, I have this beautiful Revlon, and it's in the shade Love Her Madly, and it looks like a orangey red with some shimmers. Let's see. And this one looks actually pretty full. I mean, all the way up here. So maybe this was only swatched by the previous owner. Let's see what this polish looks like on the nail. I'm so excited. Uh, I purchased these polishes back in December. I'm filming this um, February, what is it? 23rd. So it's it's been a while, guys. And I am just now getting around to seeing how these polishes look swatched. Yeah, I've been hoarding them for a while. Let's see what this one's about. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. Wow, applies pretty good, nice consistency. And you can see that shimmer, just a little bit, but you can see it. It's definitely gonna be like more like a fancy neutral on me. So pretty, wow. All right, so that is Love Her Madly. Up next, we have an LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish. And this, who are you? What's your name? Nuclear Energy. I don't have very many polishes from this brand. I know they're available at Dollar Tree, um, but I just, I've never picked them up. Uh, I only have one glitter, which is like my 4th of July glitter topper, and that's about it. Let's see. I like the brush, though. Oh, this is going to be sheer. But I love the color. Okay, not bad. Again, it's a workable polish overall. Quite a bit sheer, but not bad for a consistency. Hopefully, it's one that we can build up. Up next, we have a julep, which I'm so thrilled to be swatching. I actually own a few that I picked up on a D-Stash sometime last year, but I've never worn them. And I know these are very expensive, so to find one on a Goodwill bag that is practically full uh, was very exciting. This is in the shade Kiki. And is this It Girl down there? I wonder if that's the collection that it comes from. I have no idea. Again, I'm not familiar with the brand that much. Now let's see how this one applies. Well, I like the brush on this too. Oh, wow. This is so good. I love this color. The 
Look at that. Wow. Looks like it has a great formula and it's so pretty. Here we have a blue and oh my gosh, I love this shade of blue. It's so pretty. Give it a shake. It's very separated. This is from an unknown brand to me. Looks like it's from the brand Lee Ultra Silky Polish. And oh great, pet people of mine. It doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a name, guys. Oh my gosh, that sucks. I hate it when they don't have names. I I can't. I'm going to have to throw this into a project polish soon because I don't like owning polishes that don't have a name. Oh, this has a very skinny brush. But let's see. Whoa, that is pigmented, you guys. Wow. A little bit runny. Seems like it's a little bit thin. I think that's the word. But the color is so beautiful. Look at that blue. Oh my gosh. It's stunning, you guys. All right, now we have a simple colors here. You can never go wrong with the simple colors, in my opinion. And this is in the shade Happy Ending. I recently saw somebody swatch this polish, and I remember thinking, wow, that is so beautiful. I wish I had it. And here it was, all along, waiting at Goodwill for me pretty full the consistency looks good let's see how this polish applies Alrighty. oh my gosh this is such a beautiful shade of green i love this glowy greens they're some of my favorite polishes to wear wow look at that you guys so glowy you can clearly see those very tiny um gold shimmers it's a little bit sheer so it's one that i'm gonna have to build up but it's such a beautiful color and then we have a neutral this is from the brand mineral fusion which i've heard about but i don't know much about and it is in the shade fossil let's see this looks like a brand new polish honestly it's just very separated but it looks brand new to me oh i love the brush well kind of i'll take that back not really <laughs> i like that it's flat and another great consistency. Wow. Super easy to work with. Sales level really nicely. And it's a beautiful, beautiful neutral polish. All right, let's start with the OPIs. Um, this one still has a price tag on them. So I'm assuming this has never been used. I don't know. This is in the shade I Drive a Supernova. And I mean, just the tag on this polish, like, that's what I paid for, like, half of this polishes. You know what I mean? Like, it was such a good deal. Oh, this one's a little hard. Let's see. Let me give it a good shake. I mean, I cannot believe people are getting rid of these polishes. But I'm, I'm glad they are in a way, because, you know, now I get to have them. <laughs> so... Yeah, this bottle is practically brand new, you guys. It's like not even dirty or anything at the rim. And I love... Oh my god, this is so shimmery. Wow. Very brush strokey, not gonna lie. But oh my gosh, that is such a great silver. Here I have a red, um, a very famous red. I've been wanting this polish for such a long time. Um, this is not the lemming, by the way. But this is one of those polishes that is very famous and that I really wanted to try. But I just, um, I never find it for like a discounted price. So uh, that's why I have never picked it up. But this is in the shade I'm Not Really a Waitress. Uh, again, a very famous red from OPI. And I'm expecting this to be a good one because OPI has a... Great reputation for the reds. Oh, this one has a super skinny brush. Wow, this, I'm not used to this from OPI. Look at how skinny that brush is, but oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous this red is. Wow. I'm definitely gonna have to go with uh, a second coat on this one, oh, but Oh my gosh, this color is so much prettier than I thought it was going to be. Wow, it's so gorgeous. I am very um, surprised with the tiny brush on this polish though. Look at how skinny that is. Oops, it's so skinny. So different from the previous one from that um, 
I drive a supernova, I think that was the name. Yeah, I drive a supernova. Let's see this brush. Once again, I'm uh I'm not going no, I'm not going crazy. They are completely different. This is an okay brush. The other one is so skinny. I wonder if um maybe this is like an older bottle. Um uh, maybe from um its original release. I mean, who knows? Again, I found this at Goodwill, so who knows how long this polish has been around, but see this one is much skinnier. Let's see what oh, I want to do next. I have more OPIs, but I think I want to go to another Revlon. <laughs> this is an orange, again, with like a soft shimmer. And this is in the shade Ice Spice. There you go. Um, Another sheer polish. Uh, I have a hard time working with skinny brushes, which is why you see very uneven application. <laughs> I don't think that's the polished fault. I think it's my fault. It's just such a skinny long brush. Let's talk about this brand. This is from Kiss Gel Strong and it is in the shade Off The Hook. Now, last year, these polishes were very popular. I want to say last year, maybe it was longer than that. Can't remember. They took forever to get to my Dollar Tree. And once they got to my Dollar Tree, uh, I was kind of over it. Like the hype had slowly died down. So I was not interested in picking them up anymore. So this is my first polish from this brand. I've heard really good things about it. Honestly, the color is not my favorite. You guys know I don't really like this shade. But let's watch it. Let's give it a try and see what the hype has been about. The brush is okay. Let's see. Oh, this one. Again, a great formula polish overall. The consistency is still workable. Um, since it's very pearly, you get a lot of brush strokes. Uh, it has to do more with the finish of the polish, not necessarily the formula. So I cannot judge um, the formula as the whole brand. It's just the finish that's going to leave you with that many brush strokes. But I guess it's, it's good. Uh, it's just... <gasps> Not my favorite kind of color or finish, but yeah. First Kiss Gel Strong in my stash. Up next, we have a glitter bomb from Sally Hansen. This is from their Hard As Nails Extreme Wear line, and it is in the shade Rockstar Pink. I was very happy when I saw this polish in the bundle. Oh, can't open this. Uh, because I don't have a glitter that comes even close to this. I love all the different colors in here. And then, you know, I love shimmery stuff, so this was really up my alley. Let's see if this is going to be a glitter polish that you can build up or if it's just a topper. Ah, oh, yeah, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's a lot of glitter. Okay. I love that it's very fine, small glitter. So this I will definitely use as a topper. I know you can try to build it up once you sponge it and all that, but I'm not going to go through that trouble when I like it so much as a topper. You know what I mean? I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. There's blue, silver, pink, red, some gold. What a stunning topper. So pretty. And this will look great over anything, really. So much fun. Really like it. I am loving all these polishes so far. Um... It, it's all gonna come down to color preference, but when it comes to quality, they're all so good, you guys. I I was just so thrilled when I found all these polishes at Goodwill, and I left behind um, like five other bags. Um, I tried to limit myself, and I regret it so much. I wish I could have just brought them all home because there were really good polishes in all of the baggies, if I'm being honest. Here is another uh, Sinful Colors, and this is one that I had never heard of. This is in the shade Neptune. And, I mean, just look how gorgeous this is. It's a shimmering uh, blue. It looks like there's a lot of purple in there as well. So, I'm eager to see how this looks swatched. Um, again, consistency looks really good. Let's see. So, here's the first coat of Neptune from Simple Colors. Alright, not bad. A little bit on the sheer side. But overall, I mean, the consistency is amazing. 
look at that you can clearly see those shimmers um back in the day simple colors used to do a lot of these kind of finishes so i'm so glad that i got my hands on a blue one this is so gorgeous so so pretty oh this two will look great together so yeah guys have you guys checked out your local goodwills do your goodwills carry nail polishes this was like the find of 2019 for me and Every time I go to a Goodwill now, I will look for polish and hopefully I get lucky like I did this time because I'm just like over the moon with this haul. Up next, we have a Clean Color Nail Lacquer, which this brand is available at Dollar General, if I'm not mistaken. I only own one other polish from this brand and it's a green. I actually purchased that polish sometime last summer and I never got around just watching it. Story of my life. Oh, the brush looks really good. I like this brush not bad whoa this is oh no my camera is not picking it up okay so the formula doesn't look the best it's a neon blue but the color is so vibrant it's crazy wow and I think I forgot to share the name with this polish oh this polish this is in the shade sea ice so vibrant but the formula doesn't look like it's a good one um it's not self leveling really well i hope my camera is picking that up but um regardless the color will make it so worth it for me we'll see how this builds up in the second coat all right i have five polishes left to share one two three four five oh perfect perfect just enough for the so you're gonna see everything's watch awesome i'm so excited uh let's talk about a brand that i've never heard of this is from a perfect 10 uh, salon formula so maybe this is just a brand that you see at nail salons which I haven't visited a salon in probably like five years now so I have no idea uh, this is in the shade seen red and it looks like there's like a gold shimmer running through it can you see that it's like there I think you can kind of see it there let's see if it actually comes through Oh, has a very skinny brush, so bear with me as I swatch this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my kind of red. It's very similar to, um, I'm not really a waitress from OPI. Very, very similar. I wish I had swatched them side by side. Okay, well, let's move on. I have another red from OPI, and this is in the shade Soho Nice to Meet You. If you know what collection this comes from, let me know. But it sounds like it's going to have to do with something from New York, maybe. Since it has a Soho nice to meet you. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. I may look like a fool. But that's my first thought that came to mind. Uh, let's see what this polish is about. Again, another skinny brush from OPI. Oof, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. This is more of like a burnt, uh, glowy red, in my opinion. It's completely different from the one next door. This is more cranberry looking. This is more burnt. That's the best way I can explain the difference. But they're definitely not the same. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the last red that I have to share today. And this is uh, from Sinful Colors. And look at those beautiful shimmers in there. They look like they're going from purple to pink to gold it's so pretty and it's in the shade forget now uh this is uh based on the number i'm assuming this is one of their older um og nail polishes and here's forget now oh my gosh it is actually more orange than red definitely um the shimmers in there were throwing me off and it made it look like a red but this is definitely an orange with amazing glowy shimmers look at that color oh my gosh this is so beautiful love this one um definitely one of my favorites from the bunch all right here we have another opi and this is in the shade eaten eggplant um again i have no clue as to when this polish was released but i have seen this recently on my local uh marshalls and what is it tj maxx so uh yeah it's like a purpley brown can you see that 
so pretty definitely my kind of dark vampy shade another skinny brush uh oh wish me luck oh that is delicious wow this is so pigmented this is fall in a bottle i mean are you kidding me if you are a lover of vampy shades i feel like this should be in your stash look at that it's such a gorgeous shade oh mg and i think the reason why you see so many brush strokes is because of the skinny brush again which i'm not a big, big fan of but i guess that comes with older opi bottles hmm maybe some of you older nail polish collectors can confirm that because i have no idea i just know that this is not a good brush all right i left my lemming for the end of course because who doesn't like a build up right the polish that i've been wanting for a while and that i had basically told myself that i was never gonna find it because nobody in their right mind will ever distash this beauty is one that i recently saw on carolina from gotta love polish and i wanted it so bad this is an opi polish it is a polish from the James Bond collection. I don't know what's the name of it. I just know it's James Bond related. And I love James Bond movies so much, guys. You have no idea. This is in the shade On Her Majesty's Secret Service. And this polish is so much prettier in person than I ever thought it would be. It's just so glowy. It's a blue, which that automatically makes it to the top of my list. And... This one, I'm expecting it to have a good a good brush from OPI, not some of the thinner ones we've seen. Yeah, there it is. Really much better brush. And based on the swatches that I've seen, I know this one goes on sheer, but it builds up really well, and you can see all those beautiful shimmers on your nails. So let's see. Let me swatch this polish for the first time. And by the way, the bottle's like all the way up to here. So it's like barely used which means i'm gonna get a lot of use out of it i have a love to love on and oh my gosh look at all those shimmers oh my gosh you guys oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh can you see this oh my gosh look at that even on the first coat look at all those shimmers oh my heart I cannot explain how happy I am to own this polish. I I can't believe I found it for the price that I did practically for free. It's just, I, I, I'm speechless. Again, on Her Majesty's Secret Service from OPI. Um, it's stunning. It's, it's stunning. So, I've been filming here for over 30 minutes. Let me get off camera, add a second coat on everything, and I'll come back and review. Then we have uh, the one with the worst formula of the bunch. Is <laughs> this very bright blue. I mean, just look at that. Can we call this a neon? Because I want to call it a neon. It's just so freaking bright. And this is the one from Clean, Clean Color in the shade Sea Ice. I will definitely not recommend you go hunt this down at your local Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar General, I'm sorry. Because um, the formula is horrendous like it doesn't self-level at all but if you like the color just like i yeah i do if you love the color so much then you know for a dollar go for it but just be aware that it doesn't self-level the best maybe once we add a glossy top coat that might help it but the color is so stunning that yeah this one's staying in my collection for sure another fantastic glowy red uh this one from the brand a perfect tan salon formula and this was in the shade seeing red uh now after the second coat it is completely different from i'm not really a waitress i'm not really a waitress it's definitely more glowy this is a more deep rich red and i hope that you can see that here uh, I can see it in person. I'm not sure if my camera is picking it up. But yeah, completely different reds. Justifiable to keep them both. 
And up next, we have another red from OPI. Beautiful polish. Definitely there's some sort of pink glow coming through. I hope that you can see that. Look how gorgeous this shade of red is. And this was Soho Nice to Meet You. I bumped my nail in this watch as it was drying, so I'm sorry about the texture. But this is the Sinful Colors Forget Now, which is a stunning orange with amazing uh, shimmers that go from pink to purple to gold. And again, on this one, I did two coats, but the second coat is very heavy. Um, it probably take me three coats to get this fully opaque, but I don't mind because Clearly, the shimmers are translating, and I cannot wait to wear this as a full mani. It's just, I'm mesmerized by this shade, you guys. Do you guys own this one? It's a very old one, but uh, if you do own it, uh, pull it out. It's such a fun shade. And speaking of fun shades, let's talk about the only Bampy. Yeah, this is practically the only Bampy dark polish, this one right here, which is OPI's Eaten Eggplant. And this is just such a sexy shade of brownish purple. It's so pretty. Um, you cannot even see the brush strokes that I was seeing on the first coat anymore. So it's it's just so stunning. I love how this looks. And last but not least is my Lemming Fine uh, two coats. I probably need three coats. Um, but as you can see, those beautiful shimmers build on top of one another so nicely. And that was my Lemming Polish OPI's in on Her Majesty's Secret Service. It's just oh, to die for. Let's not forget once again about my Donna Michelle Salon Basics Nail Polish, which has no name. But I do have a swatch picture of this one on my January Manis, which I previously mentioned, and this nail care item. Overall, 20 products for six bucks at Goodwill. Uh, I think this haul was overall a great haul. What do you guys think? Have you purchased anything from Goodwill? Did you even know that Goodwill carries nail polish? And if you did, what have you found at Goodwill? Again, $6 for all of this. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Worth it or not worth it? In my book, so worth it. All the formulas are still workable, so I'm just so 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 happy you guys you know what else makes me happy the fact that you guys decided to spend some of your time with me today i really really appreciate it uh if you own any of these polishes don't forget to share your experience with them and let me know about those skinny brushes from opi was that a thing from the past or what was that about uh but yeah as always i hope you have a fantastic day don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on